love you, Manuela. <laughs> Did you see that? Dorothea looked right at me. Well, that crowd was amazing. I thought they were going to faint on the spot the moment you appeared. Pretty impressive reaction, considering how long it's been since you quit the stage. Don't sell yourself short, Dorothea. Those people were cheering full throat for you as well. That's also a fine reaction, considering you left the songstress life behind nearly two years ago. But time passes quickly, and let me tell you, it has certainly done a number on me. Oh, stop it. Time hasn't diminished your beauty nor your voice. Well, you're very sweet to say so. But we both know I'm getting by with smoke, mirrors, and the skin of my teeth. I'm no longer fit to command the stage. At best, I can serve as a bodyguard to our successors in the Middle Franc Opera Company, as they look to entertain our troops. Yes, well, all kidding aside, we both know it was the current songstress, Adrienne, who received the loudest cheers from the crowd. Hey, so, not to bring down the mood, but, uh, what am I doing here? I don't know the first thing about opera, and I'm sure you had plenty of people clamoring to keep all of you safe on this little excursion. So, why me? We've already been over this, Dorothea. You and I both know this kind of thing isn't my cup of tea. Actually, your unfamiliarity is the reason we chose you to accompany us. If we brought along a bunch of starstruck fans to serve as escorts, it would end in disaster. Sadly, we've learned from experience that people will use any excuse to get close to our singers. Sometimes, they even convince themselves that we've reciprocated their feelings, when we've clearly done nothing of the sort. Alas, we've all had to get quite good at close-quarter combat as a result. The Opera Company was where I learned my dagger skills, though I admit it's hardly the most appropriate weapon for a battlefield. Sounds intense. Indeed. Behind the glitz and glamour of the stage, swirl all manner of dark desires. But when it works, everyone comes together to beat back the darkness and create something magical. Like most everything else, you just have to take the good with the bad. <sighs> this kind of talk really takes me back. Forgive our intrusion, my lady, but we're ready to begin moving again. We should reach the next town in a little over... Hmm? What's all that racket? Sounds like we're up. Don't let them harm any members of the company. Must pre Not a problem. I've got this. That's my cue. Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. Here Tech goes. the opera company. Make this a performance to remember. Are these kidnappers? Thieves? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll send them packing no matter who they are. Not a problem. 
Oh, these people look fancy. And fancy folk always got valuables on them. Now grab what you've got! I can do this! We better take these guys out quick. I'll take on anyone! Apologies. No, not yet. Thank you. I can keep going now. Behavior in front yeah. of the Manuela Casagranda. What's that, ma'am? I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Yeah. I promise. Huh? You really can charm anyone. Now you've done it. Yeah. Huh? Dorothea? No way. I love her. Hey. Now. The Sontress Manuela? Bro, well, this ain't no time for thieving! Prepare to be amazed. Go for it! That's my cue. Not a problem. I've got this. Not a problem. I've got this. I'm the star now. Problem. 
Hang on. Is that Dorothea? <laughs> she was always my favorite songstress. I can do this. Apologies. They know me, do they? Perhaps they can talk some sense into them. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Go enter Manuela. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for attacking you. Let me make it up. Please? You just got it. Huh? <laughs> See? Huh? Oh, my dear Manuela. To celebrate our newfound uh, acquaintanceship, please let me aid you in battle. have turned even these hardened bandits to jelly. Sorry, but you ain't getting through here. I can do this. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. The spotlight is mine. So horrible. I must take lives if we are to succeed. You're really coming into your own. The mounts are only choice. How long can this go on? And how many of these fours are there anyway? Have no fear, my dear Manuela. 
I have come to rescue you. <laughs> You came for me. Oh dear. Am I actually into this? Some surprise. It's Manuela and Dorothea in the flesh. Somebody stop me, because I gotta be dreaming. You're so beautiful, Dorothea. I can do this. Oh, it's Manuela. Lit up the yeah, Persinium. Right. Prepare to go. My comrades will avenge me. And wondered if others like you never learn of their talents and fall instead into the bandit life. Yes, I suppose it's lucky I turned out this way, instead of as a common thief lurking by the side of some dusty highway. It's not over. Actually fishing, but I still like what we caught. It's good to know the people still really love us. Especially bandits, apparently. Not quite sure how to feel about that. but at what cost? One day the war will be over. Cheers means so much more when I'm on stage. I hope 
everyone from the opera company made it safely to town. We had bandits popping out from every which way, didn't we, Manuela? Indeed. But those rogues were no match for our combined charms. You even managed to woo some of them to our side. I'm impressed. I could never do that. Still, why were there so many bandits camped this close to a town? Is it because of the war? In a sense. Care to explain that? Of course. You see, towns within the Empire have begun tightening their security for fear of the enemy. And in regions near the front line, such as this one here, there are naturally more soldiers about. That leaves the bandits with no place to go. Sounds like they should just abandon the brigand's life and become mercenaries instead. Easier said than done. Take the bandits we just fought. It's not as if they have a chain of command or central organization. They are clearly a group that came together out of common interest and survival, not any manner of grand military ambition. Guess that explains why they fought the way they did. All swagger and no plan. In any case, I came the moment I heard about bandit activity in the area. I hypothesized the opera company might be targeted, and so rushed to your aid. Well done, Hanuman. That's a more clever course of action than I expected from you. You could have ended that before the second part. Oh, don't be upset. In fact, you should be pleased I feel comfortable enough with you to speak my mind. It's nice how you two can be so honest with each other. Do you think so? Well, that's certainly a more pleasant way to view things. That's exactly how I try to look at it. At least until a certain someone comes along and screws it up. All right, knock it off, you two. If you insist on indulging in these sparring sessions, at least have the courtesy to let the rest of us leave the area first. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's leave him to it. No, wait! I apologize! Just please don't leave me alone with this woman! I'm also sorry. Let's just forget this ever happened and head back as one big happy family, all right? <laughs> <laughs>